everyone, it's Brittany, and I'm feeling a little bit bad today. It may or may not be my time of the month, but what better time of the month to talk about products that you hate. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I kind of got together a bunch of products that I just wouldn't repurchase myself, and again, some products will work on some people, and someone may love one of the products I hate, but that's just my personal opinion, and I thought I would share it with you in case you have similar taste, and also... Really quick, I just want to say what lip combination I was wearing because I wore it in my What's in My Purse video. I'm wearing a Buxom lipstick pencil thing, and it is in color Vienna, I think. For some reason, oh yeah, Vienna. And it's just a very blue toned pink. And then the gloss I have on top is a MAC Lady Gaga lipstick in Viva Glam Gaga. And I think it's limited edition, but it, these colors are very similar to like MAC Snob or MAC Angel. This is my outfit. I was feeling very like, I don't really know what to describe this style, but it's like Cher Lloyd, Jessie J, like the UK pop. Like it's a little bit like an attitude. I don't know. I never really wear jewelry and I felt like very, like I was gonna rip these products and new ones so I needed to just... Fierce. Okay, I guess I'll talk about the product that I hate most and that I really wish I could return. I don't have a receipt, but it is the Chanel Liquid Eyeliner. I extra hate this product because of, I will get close so hopefully you can see, um, I extra hate this product because it is expensive and I just don't think it's very good. It's good if you want to do a really, really thin line, but obviously I like to have a little bit of width to my eyeliner line and this will drag away product when you're trying to make the line thick so you'll have gaps and then it like won't fill in with the eyeliner not a very dark color the eyeliner I use is the MAC liquid eyeliner and I think they only have one shade it's just black I've used it probably for like seven years now and I just really love it it's very dark and it's easy to use it's long long lasting uh, it never smudges it's just the best next is the Laura Mercier powder and this is tough for me because I love Laura Mercier skin products I love their tinted moisturizer I love their concealers I haven't really tried many other of their products so I kind of bought foundi uh, powder foundations that were too dark so I decided to get a very pale one and my color is in real sand and I find this to be very chalky it makes me get oily and then kind of like just looks very cakey. It looks very bad. I just, I don't know how else to say it. I've tried it on my Laura Mercier foundation. I tried it on my other foundations and it, it just, I know, like I like it when I first put it on. That's why I bought it in the store. And then when I wear it throughout the day, it just, it's not what I'm looking for. I'd rather use the Makeup Forever HD powder, which has no color to it, but it makes your skin look very nice all day long. Next is a Deborah Lipman nail polish. And this is Some Enchanted Evening. There's no doubt about it that this is a beautiful nail polish. It looks very girly and fun. And when I apply it, it's really honestly nothing special. I mean, you do get chunks of sparkle on your nail. I guess I'll just show you. On this finger, I think it's in focus. I'm trying to hold a mirror behind the camera and see it. But... Since there's small and big chunks of sparkle in the nail polish, I always get just a tiny little sparkles in there. Then one or two big sparkles come on, and it just looks very odd. It is not worth the price of this nail polish. Deborah Lipman nail polishes are some of the most expensive nail polishes, I think. I haven't tried any other Deborah, Deborah Lipman nail polishes. I only want to try the sparkle one, because for an expensive... One, I thought I was going to get an awesome sparkle payoff, and that's not what happened. Next is the Micro Delivery Exfoliating Wash from Philosophy. I love Philosophy Skincare. This product, I just don't notice any type of a difference. And usually when I use Philosophy products, I notice a huge difference in my skin. And I don't want to get this confused with my ultimate favorite exfoliating set, which is the Philosophy Micro Delivery Peel and it comes with these two. It is more expensive than the other one, but I use this and I notice a huge difference immediately in my skin. Um, any dry patches are gone. My makeup applies beautifully. want a good exfoliating 
get the micro delivery peel. Why is it called? I always called it micro derm. I guess micro delivery. Okay, but don't get the exfoliating wash. Get the peel. I have another thing like that where I got the Bumble and Bubble prep, and I really enjoy this. You just kind of, when your hair is wet, you spray it in your scalp, and it doesn't make your scalp greasy or anything. It kind of just makes your styling go easier, and it makes detangling occur. It's just, I enjoyed it, so I want to try the Bumble and Bumble Styling Lotion, which sucked. It made my hair feel greasy. It did things to my hair that made my hair worse. I just, it made it like sticky and weird and I don't know if I don't have the right hair texture for it. I have very thin, fine, straight hair mostly and I can get some frizzing and this didn't do anything good. Another Bumble and Bumble product that I hate is the BB Texture and I bought this because I wanted to, when I had my hair extensions, do kind of like beachy messy waves. So I thought if I added some texture it would make my hair look untousled but kind of like more put together. Like I was thinking my hair would look like Blake Lively's hair because hers always has that beachy, untousled yet very kind of put together look which is hard to do. And um, I think she uses their sea salt spray, but I thought texture would work better. I assume this product is for people who have like Miley Cyrus short hair, not who want beach waves. So if you're trying to get beach waves and you feel like this texture would do it, don't get it. This product sucks. Other product, I have two of them and I hate them both. They are the Makeup Forever lip glosses. They are very uncomfortable to wear. Let's see, I've had these for like two years now and I just haven't got rid of them. So it looks like it has like nice payoff, but it's, it, it does this weird thing that when I put on lipstick or on top of like lip liner or something, it will rub off the lipstick or lip liner wherever I applied the gloss and make it kind of look like discolored and patches missing and then I always regret whenever I put these on so if you want to wear these by yourself and you don't wear a lot of lipsticks this may be good for you but if you want to put them on top of the lipstick which I feel most people do they are not going to do anything good and they feel like little grains of sand are on your lip. Well I think I have come to the end of the products that I extremely hate and I wouldn't repurchase and I wouldn't really suggest unless you already have them and you love them then I guess we have different tastes and stuff. Some Everyone does. There's tons of products that I see people love that I know I don't like. And there's tons of like hyped up Sephora products that end up just not being so great. And I don't know why they're hyped up. And then there's some products that are hyped up and then I'm like, oh my gosh, they're great. Like the YSL uh, under eye concealer, which is overpriced, but it's awesome. And yeah, so hopefully you found this helpful, and uh, I hope I wasn't too scatterbrained. I get kind of scatterbrained during this time of the month. Don't want to give you TMI, but it is true. I think it happens to most people. My roommates totally agree. We like, like <laughs> car accidents have occurred because of this affliction. But I think that is everything, and I hope you enjoyed me ranting about products that I hate, and I hopefully gave a good description of why. And below, I will post my Instagram, my Twitter, Facebook, and Tumblr. And I hope you're all having a good day, and leave a comment below of the products you hate because then I don't have to buy it and use it slowly because I don't want to waste it. <laughs> I will talk to all of you soon. Bye!